Yashar Jasher 87. At that time, Yahuwah said to Moshe, Behold, your days are approaching to an end. Take now Yahusha, the son of Nun, your servant, and place him in the tabernacle, and I will command him. And Moshe did so. And Yahuwah appeared in the tabernacle in a pillar of cloud and the pillar of cloud stood at the entrance of the tabernacle and Yahuwah commanded Yahusha the son of Nun and said unto him be strong and courageous for you shall bring the children of Yasharael to the land which I swore to give them and I will be with you. And Moshe said to Yahusha, Be strong and courageous, for you will make the children of Yashadael inherit the land, and Yahuwah will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Be not afraid nor disheartened. And Moshe called to all the children of Yashadael and said to them, You have seen all the good which Yahuwah Elohecha has done for you in the wilderness. Now, therefore, observe all the words of this Torah and walk in the way of Yahuwah Elohecha. Turn not from the way which Yahuwah has commanded you, either to the right or to the left. And Moshe taught the children of Yashara'el commandments and judgments and Torah to do in the land as Yahuwah had commanded him. And he taught them the way of Yahuwah and his Torah. Behold, they are written upon the Sefer of the Torah of Elohim, which he gave to the children of Yashara'el by the hand of Moshe. And Moshe finished commanding the children of Yashara'el, and Yahuwah said to him, saying, Go up to the Mount Avarim and die there. And be gathered unto your people as Ahran, your brother, was gathered. And Moshe went up as Yahuwah had commanded him. And he died there in the land of Moab by the order of Yahuwah in the 40th year from Yashara'el going forth from the land of Mitzrayim. And the children of Yashara'el wept for Moshe in the plains of Moab for 30 days. And the days of weeping and mourning for Moshe were completed. <laughs>